Hey, what is up everyone? I am Roman and welcome back to the channel. Today we will look how we can listen live swap data from Uniswap version 2 and Uniswap version 3. So let's get right into it. So here is the code snippet for listening swap data from Uniswap version 2. Uh, we need to import the API for the Uniswap version 2 peer contract. Then we define the addresses for the 3 Uniswap version 2 peer which we want to listen. You can listen to any peer, go to v2.info.uniswap.org and in the peer section you can get all the v2 peers. Select the peers you want to listen, copy the address and add them in our code snippet. Now next we need RPC provider to connect to the Ethereum mainnet. Uh, for that we will use Infira. So visit app.infira.io and create an account if you don't have one. Then create new API key. Enable mainnet endpoint for Ethereum network. Save changes. Now copy the URL and paste it here. After that we need to create instances for the Uniswap version 2 peer contracts that we have defined above using the ABI and provider. Then we have the log and store function to log the swap event details to the console and store them in a JSON file. And finally we set up event listener for the swap events on each of the three Uniswap version 2 pairs. When a swap event occurs, the listener calculates the swap type, token volumes and calls the log and store with the relevant information. Now let's run the code snippet. Uh, for that we need some packages which are included in the package of JSON. So you just need to do npm install in the same directory. Make sure you have Node.js installed in your system. All right, now let's run node and name of the file. So you can see the swap data being listened, uh, which are also being stored in the JSON file like this. Cool, so this is how you listen live swap data from Uniswap version 2. Similarly for listening swap data from the Uniswap version 3, uh, we need to import Uniswap version 3 pool artifact, then the addresses for Uniswap version 3 pairs uh, which you can get from info.uniswap.org. On pool tab you can see the pairs, select and copy the address and add them. Uh, next are similar to the one that we did for the version 2. Now let's run node and name of the file. So you can see the swap data being listened uh, which are also being stored in the same file like this. Alright so this is how you can listen live swap data from both Uniswap version 2 and Uniswap version 3. I hope this is helpful for you and with that being said thanks for watching see you in the next video.